So welcome aboard. Welcome to the Leadership TKO show. For those of you who may catch this a bit later, hello to those of you on the Leadership TKO YouTube channel. Again, hello to those of you on Facebook. Welcome aboard. It's Network Marketing Mondays here with the Leadership TKO show. And perhaps this may be the first time that you're listening in or viewing the show. And so I want to let you know what the mission is for Leadership TKO. And it really is to empower wealth builders. I don't know how many of you focused on building wealth. I want to empower network marketers with the ability to win from the inside out, growing your influence, your impact, and your income. So if that's you, if you're a man or woman, network marketer, wealth builder, and you're looking to do any of those things, you're tuning into the right stream. You're plugged into the right channel on YouTube. And so again, I'm excited to be here with you on these Mondays and Wednesdays. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a little bit of an introduction. Perhaps this is your first time tuning in. And so I'm the creator of the show. I'm married, I've been married to Mr. Keith McKnight for over 18 years now. We're both homeschool parents to these beautiful children here. We're full-time network marketers and wealth building coaches. And so we've had the honor to coach many people, to be in business with many people, to connect people to opportunities. And so we're still doing that to this very day. But most importantly, I will tell you that we are spirit-led leaders, spirit-led, meaning that we want to do what's in the best interest and what's going to honor God. Most importantly, we honor God with our actions. We wanna honor God with our words. As, and that includes in business. That includes business as well. And so that's who we are. And on this day, this Network Marketing Monday, we're focusing in on this topic right here before you, which is tech-powered success, right? How is technology revolutionizing or changing network marketing? And so that's what we're going to be diving in here on tonight to speak about and so once again, as you're plugging in, if you come in later on, definitely jot, jot down, type in the comment section, the city and state uh, where you're tuning in from, because you're, I believe you're going to get great, immense value uh, from the content that we're going to be sharing on today. So let's talk about what you're going to walk away with. What are the objectives for today? And so here are the objectives right before you. You know, our journey today will cover three main areas. Okay, understanding, number one, understanding the transformative role of technology in network marketing. We're going to talk about that. Secondly, we're going to identify the essential tech tools, the technology tools that every network marketer should utilize. This one is going to be really, really good. I'm excited about it for sure. All right, so we're going to talk about tech tools. And then lastly, we're going to demonstrate how you can integrate these technologies into your business to really drive growth and efficiency. And so that's what we're going to talk about tonight. Good evening, Pastor Pamela Dixon. We see you tuning in. All right. And so we do appreciate you for being here today. So let's dive into it straight away. Let's talk about digital transformation of network marketing. How is, how is this new digital era impacting network marketing? Let's talk about it because this digital age has truly reshaped this industry, this profession. There's some who is kind of stuck on, you know, the old ways, which is fine. I'm not saying they don't work, but there is a smarter way to doing things that you can incorporate in what you're doing. And so from the traditional door-to-door -door sales to digital platforms, technology has expanded our reach and our capabilities. And so embracing this change is no longer an option, network marketers. It's not just an option. It is crucial for survival and for success. It is absolutely crucial. So you, you definitely don't want to get left behind when it comes to technology at all. So what are some of the tools that we really can dive into that will really help us as network marketers because we want to incorporate the best of the best, right? Incorporate the best of the best. And so we got to look at several tools, 
that are really at our disposal. So the first thing I want to talk about is CRMs. Now, if you don't know what a CRM is, it is a customer relationship management system. Once again, it is a customer relationship management system. And so these systems, these CRMs, help manage our contacts and our interactions that we're having with these contacts, with these potential prospects and potential customers. Good evening, Rufus. Look, Pamela and Rufus, go ahead and let, let the guests, those who come a little later, let them know where you're tuning in from. So, so jot down in the comment section your city and your state uh, so that those who may even be in the same area where you are, they will be able to connect as well. So go ahead and drop that in the chat area as well. So yeah, CRMs, they help us when it comes to managing our contacts and our interactions. Uh, we also have social media platforms that really can help extend our brand's reach. Every network marketer should have a brand established. And if you don't have a brand established, that's something you definitely need to work on. I'm actually going to be doing a masterclass very, very soon uh, about social media branding. Like, How do you brand yourself as a network marketer? And we're going to dive a little bit deeper in that topic. So uh, if you want to know more about this class coming up, I'm going to be announcing it really soon, too. Uh, but to know more about it, if it's something that you're particularly interested in, just type the word brand, brand in the chat. Type that word brand in the chat if that's something you look forward to getting some information on. So as I was mentioning, not just social media platforms to extend your brand's reach, but automation tools. So you want to take advantage of automation tools to help you streamline your marketing efforts. Because there's so much you can do when you can automate some of those things. You don't have to sit behind a desk. You don't have to sit behind your phone to get things done. You can automate these things so that you can really focus on the main things at hand. And the main things at hand is what? Interacting with the customers, is, is getting that content out there, like helping to serve the people. That's what it's truly all about. So I do see you all typing in the word brand. I gotcha. Okay, so listen, mastering these tools like the CRMs, your brand and automation tools, listen, Mastering these things can significantly enhance your productivity and your presence, especially your presence online. So these are huge, 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 huge. So how do we maximize your social media reach? Let's talk about that for a moment. Because social media isn't just about posting. And I have to be honest, I see people online just posting random things and then they're wondering why it, it sounds like there are crickets on their timeline as if nobody is paying attention, uh, but it has a lot to do with you having an effective strategy. So is your strategy as effective as it needs to be? You know, you don't want to engage in hope marketing where you're dropping a post on your timeline. You're dropping a link. I see a lot of people dropping links on their timelines. People are not attracted to links. They're not attracted to Craigslist ads because that's what it will soon feel like because you have all of these different things that you're marketing. When you're just throwing a post out there, throwing your link, that's not effective. So I'm encouraging you all not to do that. That's not effective, just throwing a link on your timeline. And then you have random things that you post, right? That you definitely don't wanna do that. You see, effective strategies include, number one, engaging content creation. So how engaging is your content that you're creating? Are you creating content or are you just taking a screenshot of something and putting it on your timeline? That's not content creation when you just take a screenshot of something and then just post it on your timeline. That, that's, that's not it, okay? And then how about being consistent? You gotta have consistent brand messaging across the different platforms out there. So think about the platforms that you're on. If you're on TikTok, if you're on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, is your messaging consistent? Okay, is it consistent or is it not consistent? So can you need to have consistent brand messaging across platforms. You also want to have genuine interactions with your audience. 
okay? Genuine interactions. So it means you're taking the time to connect, to get to know those who are following you on the social media platforms. And it needs to be genuine. They need to feel that you're actually real and authentic in your dialogue with them. And so this approach, these tips that I'm giving you right now, it really helps to build trust and community. Type in that word in the chat, community. Build community. That's what you want to do. People will come. They want to be, they want to feel like they're connected. They're having an experience when they come in touch with you. If it feels like, if it feels like some just the ordinary other channel or ordinary other timeline, why would they come back? Why would they choose you to follow and connect with? So they want to, they need that experience. Okay. They need to feel that they need to experience being in your presence or even not being in your presence because when they go to your timeline, they need to feel and have a sense of your message and what you're communicating. Okay. So again, this is just some tips that I wanted to share with you regarding maximizing your social media reach. But we got to talk about this big word right here, the big A word, which is automation. You got to talk about this word here, automation, the power of it is so powerful, everybody. Automation is, is your ally. It's like, <laughs> it really is. It's, it's your ally in managing time-consuming tasks. Woo! I can say, I'm going to say, I'm going to repeat that line one more time. And I want to say good evening to Katrina. Good evening. Welcome to the stream as well. Listen, automation is your ally in managing time-consuming tasks. It is your ally for sure. Any way that you can automate certain things, you want to you wanna delve in. If you can financially afford the tool, grab that tool by the reins, by the horns, and get going. <laughs> get going. Get things started. You see, from, from scheduling posts, to sending personalized email campaigns. Automation tools allow you to focus on what truly matters. And what truly matters, everybody, when it comes to wealth building, when it comes to network marketing, what is it that truly matters? I wanna see what you all think. Go ahead and type it in the chat really quick. What is it that really matters when you're in business, okay, and you're sharing content online, you're on these social media platforms. What's the purpose of us being on these social media platforms? What are we, what is the goal? What are we seeking to accomplish when we're on here? I want to see some of your thoughts. Type, type those thoughts in the chat really quick. What do you think the purpose of it is? I want to, I, I know there's a little bit of a lag too, so I'm just giving it a little time. Go ahead and chat. I like the interaction. I want to see what your thoughts are. Why are we here on social media? especially as network marketers. Why are we here? Good evening. I see I see the numbers increasing a bit. Go ahead and let us know where you're tuning in from. We're, we're exploring this question of why are we on social media? What is the goal, as, especially as business owners, network marketers? Why are we members of social media platforms? I'm going to have to honestly tell you, Rufus, the answer is no to that. If your goal is to get some likes and money, that's the wrong motive. That is not correct. Yes, Pamela, Pastor Pamela Dixon said it, building relationships and helping to solve problems. When your goal is money, you will never have enough of it. And you'll be chasing after it. Instead of money chasing after you, you're going to be chasing after money until you give your last breath. So the answer that Pastor Pamela Dixon said is absolutely correct. We are here as network marketers, right, business owners, to build relationships. That's what it's truly, truly all about, building relationships. And yes, growing your business. But how do you grow your business? You can't grow without the people. So we need people. We need people, absolutely. So when people say, I don't like working with people, then you might as well close the doors of your business because uh, without the people, mm -mm. no. Without the people, I'm telling you, you're going to be out of business real quick. 
okay? So again, it's, it's about building relationships and also, of course, growing your business. Now, speaking of automation, how many of you have plugged into this all this compound automating platform? There's a platform out here that helps you to, to, to automate your compounding of your wealth. You can build a network with this opportunity. You can put your wealth building on automation with this opportunity here, this legacy wealth solution. People are plugging into this all over the world, all over the world. We call it the $100 legacy wealth solution. Super compounding, auto, super compounding automation, the power of compounding meets the intelligence of blockchain technology. And there's some proof, some documentation of people actually accessing the funds that they put on automation. We have $400,000 withdrawals and so much more. And so if you have not plugged into an opportunity like this, you know, information is definitely available. I always tell people I'm not a financial advisor and that's true. I don't offer financial advice, but I share information. I'm a networker. I share information. And we're talking about automation. And so here's a platform, right, where you can get information about automating your ability to build wealth. And so for those of you who want information about this, maybe you don't have the information yet, you want to type in the number 100 in the comment section below. Some of you have the information and it's, you know, it's up to you again. You decide what's, what's in your best interest for you and your family, uh, whether you want to be involved in such a thing as what you see on the screen. I know for me and myself, my family, we have gotten involved. We've been involved for several months. All is well. Do you know that this opportunity is linked to a company that has been running successfully? The only blockchain project that I know about that has been running for more than eight years. Every network marketing opportunity, every, I should say, every uh, crypto project that I've heard of, pretty much for the most part, have closed the doors after a few years. They didn't mean they didn't even reach five years. But this company right here that offers this opportunity has been in existence for over eight years. So that speaks volumes in terms of what they're doing and how they're doing it. So again, if you would like information about this one, just type in the word 100 and I'll send some information your way. So with that in mind, let's continue on with our conversation about technology and how it's revolutionizing network marketing. So you got to understand also how to leverage data for strategic decisions. Let's learn how to leverage data for strategic decisions because data analytics, they really do offer insights into your audience's behavior and preferences. Now, this is key because here on Facebook, I think even, um, of course, Instagram and some of these other platforms gives you the insights. It lets you know uh, where your followers are from, like where do they reside? Um, what is the age group of the people that are connected to you? How active are they? When are they the most active? You can get all of this data right here on Facebook and some of these platforms. If you look in the right area, it will let you know so that you can leverage that data and be able to create content and post content at the right time. And so you got to know how to leverage that. And see, when you when you plug into how these platforms offer these insights on the on your audience's behavior, it can guide your marketing strategies and your decisions. So by understanding what resonates with your audience, those on Facebook connected to you, those on Instagram or those on YouTube, okay, you can actually tailor your approach for better engagement and better results. You can do that. And that's what I've been able to do. That's all I've been doing. Like I'll find out, you know, when, what part of the day are the people I'm with most active. And then I'll look and see what is the type of content that they are reacting to the most. Are they reacting to network marketing content the most? Or are they reacting to wealth building content? And I'm going to tell you, most of the people I'm connected to are reacting to wealth building content the most. 
whenever I post something about building wealth, they are on it. <laughs> and they are looking like, okay, how can I, how can I put my money to work for me? That's what they're looking at. And so one of the things we also need to consider is enhancing our communication with technology also. Because in a network marketing business, communication is key. Anybody agree? Type in the word agree. If you agree with me that, <laughs> how are you going to share your opportunity effectively if you don't know how to communicate and, and, and use the right words and be aware of how to address objections and all of these things? So communication is key. Okay, it is is truly key. So listen, you I want to encourage you to do a couple of things. You don't have to, but I'm telling you, based on my experience and what I've observed, it's working. You want to utilize video conferencing for personal interactions. Okay, video conferencing, you want to use, let's see, messaging apps for quick team updates, like you can use Telegram, okay? I have a community on Telegram. I have several, of course, groups, but I have a TKO community. And I'm gonna encourage all of you to plug into it. If you haven't gotten in, you want for quick team updates. You got collaborative platforms that you can plug into as well for resource sharing. There's a platform called Boards right, boards where you can create different resource boards to provide, you know, your team, for example, with the resources that they need so that they can truly thrive within their businesses. So those are just some examples of, of tools that people are using. And so these tools can keep your team connected and informed no matter where they are in the world. They can remain informed. Okay, here's something that's huge right here, building on a community. We talked about it because as a network marketer, we know that we're in the relationship building business. We're building people, we're building leaders. That's what we're doing here. And so an engaged online community can be a powerful, powerful asset. And so you wanna create some spaces for your network to, to really connect. Where can your network connect? Where can they go to share experiences, to share stories and tips and resources and support each other? And that's what the TKO community does, okay? So this sense, it provides a sense of belonging. And this sense of belonging, everybody, it can really drive motivation. It can drive loyalty. It, it, it also can propel your business forward. So you wanna provide that environment so that you can help your fellow business owners to be able to thrive and to be able to succeed. Overcoming tech challenges, because we all know with everything that we have going on, there is going to be a challenge or two that we're going to have to overcome, right? And we are overcomers. We're strong leaders in the network marketing space, so we can overcome challenges for sure. Okay, so it has, technology has its benefits. But it also challenges as well. So you want to stay abreast of the new, the brand new tools out here. You want to address technical issues. Okay. You want to be able to adapt to digital trends that require ongoing effort and learning. Because things are always changing, always update. Just like, for example, cell phones. Like you go to the, the cell phone stores out here. You, you thought you had the latest update, the latest model. And they're already working on the next one. So when you got that latest iPhone, that latest Android, Samsung phone, or LG, they're working on the next one. You thought you was on top of it, <laughs> right? So just be aware. The same thing applies to building a business and, and utilizing technology to build your business, okay? But just understand something. The rewards far outweigh the hurdles, even though there are going to be some challenges the rewards will outweigh the hurdles for sure. So, you know, as you're moving along as network marketers and seeking to enhance what you do, I'm gonna encourage you to consider the stories of network marketers who harness technology to achieve remarkable success. For example, I know before I was telling you about a guy named Mark 
I think it was Mark and Sarah. I don't know if you all remember those two entrepreneurs. They were they're wealth builders and they're in the crypto space, but they're also network marketers. And so, you know, the both of them actually, not just Mark, but also Sarah too, uh, they used targeted social media campaigns to triple their leads. And I know Mark in particular, Mark actually uses automation tools. And so Mark automated his follow his follow up process, and what as a result, it actually increased his conversion rate by forty percent, and that was Mark alone. Hopefully, you all remember Mark and Sarah. I showed a showed you both showed you all a picture of the both of them on a previous session that we had, and so both of them are doing very very well. Okay, tripling their leads, doing follow up on automation. And that's helping them to increase their conversion rate in a huge way. And so these two stories really illustrate the power of technology in transforming businesses. So you got to take the next step. Who's ready to take the next step? Type in me in the chat if you're ready to take the next step. Now I'm going to tell you what the next step is. As you can see, it's right here before you, clear as day right here before you. Who's ready to take the next step? Type in me in the comments, me, me, me. All right, I wanna see who's ready. Okay, type in me if you are ready indeed. I know there's a little lag, so I'm just being a little patient. You ready? Who's ready, who's ready? <laughs> okay, so listen. If you're ready to take the next step, as you can see here on the screen, it is clear what we need to do, okay? It is very clear. So to integrate technology into your network marketing strategy, number one, you wanna start by evaluating. Evaluate your current processes. What are you currently doing, okay? What process do you currently have in place? Do you have a process or do you not have a process, okay? Do, and it's okay to admit it if you don't, right? It's okay to admit if you don't have a process in place. That's the starting ground. That's the starting point. So again, evaluate your current process. You want to identify areas where tech or technology can make an impact. How can you incorporate technology in particular areas of your business? How, do, how can you do it? Okay. You also want to select the right tools to address these needs, select the right tools. Good evening, Dr. Pat. Select the right tools, okay? You wanna select the right tools. And, and that's what we kind of break down in, in the TKO community. Sometimes we go over tools. Um, and then listen, in the upcoming brand, brand masterclass for network marketers, we're gonna be talking about a lot of tools. <laughs> so you definitely don't wanna miss that. If you missed, like if you express and you want to learn more about the brand masterclass, type in the word brand in the comments. I want to see how many of you are truly interested in building a brand as a network marketer and having kind of walking you along the important things you need to consider. All right, type in the word brand. Okay. And so you also need to do this. You need to commit. All right, here we go. You got to commit to continuous learning. You got to learn. Attend classes that are available if it's financially possible for you. Attend these classes. Keep up with digital advancements as, you know, we're moving forward in this new digital era. You want to be you want to be readily prepared. Okay? You want to be prepared for sure. Okay? And so these are just some important next steps. Hopefully you all were able to take note because listen, as we conclude, I want you to remember that leveraging technology in network marketing is not just about keeping up with the times. It's about leading the charge. Someone type that in, lead the charge. I need every single person tuning in under the sound of my voice, watching this video. I need you to step up to the plate and lead the charge, lead the charge. Go ahead and, and type that in. If you consider yourself to be a leader, you wanna rise to the occasion in this profession of network marketing, 
you want to be current and you want to be relevant, I need you to type in the words, lead the charge, lead the charge, okay? Lead the charge. I encourage you to embrace these tools and, and strategies to unlock your business's full potential. You not only are supposed to accumulate the strategies and write them down, you got to be able to implement it so you can start to see some results because the future is digital. And with technology, your opportunities are limitless. Woo! The opportunities are absolutely limitless. It truly, truly is. So listen, as you can see, me and my husband here on the screen, as I mentioned before earlier in the conversation today, I was talking about how we apply the word to our ability to build wealth. I just want to say welcome and I'm glad that some of you have joined us a part of the Wealth Inner Circle where we're incorporating the world, the word, I should say that, the word, make sure I'm saying it the right way, not world, the word into our wealth building efforts. And so uh, we believe in the power of Ecclesiastes 11 and 2, where we have multiple sources of income. And we're not talking about one company providing different sources because here's the problem. Uh, when something happens with the company, if the company stops or cease doing business, so does all the streams. The streams cease as well. So you need to have multiple sources that would allow you to have income coming in from different places. And so hence, here we are with the wealth inner circle and we want to just do things God's way. And so if you are someone who wants to have those legit strong sources of income, I'm encouraging you to link arms with my husband and I, a part of the Wealth Inner Circle. You want to learn more? Type in the letters WC in the comment section below. If you're on YouTube tuning in, feel free to look in the description area for more information. But I'll be more than happy, okay, to be in touch, to schedule a meeting with you, to let you know how this is possible for you to link arms with my husband and I, a part of the Wealth Inner Circle. And so that is what we have there. We also have some other great companies we're connected to. Uh, one of those companies is At Cost Metals. At Cost Metals is a great company. Um, it, listen, you got to be able to protect your wealth. We're talking about wealth building. Uh, your business is an asset as well. It's a part of your wealth. You got to protect your wealth. And so what other better way do we have to protect our wealth than to acquire and accumulate God's money? Gold and silver at cost. You don't have to worry about added fees to it, but you can get your gold and silver at cost. And that's what we mean when we partner up and link arms with at cost metals company. So for those of you who want to learn more, listen, type in the words at cost and I'll be in touch with you because listen, we're building a team. We are building a network and you're more than welcome to link arms with us to figure out how we are doing this. How are we getting this done? And the silver, my friends, have been delivered. I'm telling you, the silver is being delivered. It looks absolutely beautiful. And so we're excited to be in arms, linking arms with at cost metals. Also, I wanna share with you yet another powerful source we're connected to, and it's none other than Club Secret. Club Secret. This is a club, just like, for example, Sam's Club is a club, a membership. You got Disney Plus as a membership. Netflix is a membership. This membership, Club Secret, definitely seeks to add to your life. Netflix can't really add to your life. Disney Plus can't really add and extend your life, right? If anything, you're extending the lives of the actors in these movies because they're getting paid. But Club Secret will help you not only extend your life, but it also can help you get paid because there's a compensation plan connected to it. So you want to learn about how you can enjoy all the God has created in different places in the world and travel. You want to understand how to have healthy skin. How can you, you know, add healthy supplements to your regimen? And also get discounts to movie movie um movie um tickets and different things even going have even sam's club they let you even get a discount on your sam's club membership when you plug in to club secret 
All of that is possible. So feel free to type in the word club if you would like to learn more about club secret, because it's not it's no longer a secret. Okay, it's not really a secret in a sense. So feel free to drop in some information, drop in the word club. We have plenty of presentations and you know meetings where you can learn more about this beautiful. And what I also do want to share with you is the fact that our community is open. We call the community we have Champions Corner, the Champions Corner. If you're a real champion, you want to be a champion of network marketing, we encourage you to join the Leadership TKO community because there are several benefits that will enhance your life, including you know, resources for personal growth, community support is provided for you, exclusive content that I don't post on social media that I don't post, of course, and do videos or live streams on. Uh, we're going to have networking opportunities and even providing real world success strategies. All of this is a part of the TKO Champions Corner. It is a Telegram community. So you want to be a part of this community. There's no cost to it. You can simply type in the letters TKO in the chat below. Type in TKO in the chat below and more information will be coming your way um, in terms of joining and linking up with the TKO Champions Corner because the only members there are champions, right? Our champions. And so listen, I just want to say thank you so very much, everybody, for tuning into the dialogue on this evening. Excited about what lies ahead for each and every one of us. Uh, definitely encourage you to plug into Leadership TKO. Again, we're going to be here live on Wednesday. We're going to be diving more into wealth building and passive income strategies connected to the blockchain. So again, I thank you so very much. I appreciate you all. Be blessed. And remember, until the next time that you and I come together again, I'm going to encourage you to think, to Speak and to live. Leadership. Good night and God bless.